This simulation shows how Ethernet works using CSMA CD media access control in a network that uses a hub. Computer 1 wants to send a frame to Server 1. Computer 1 must first listen to the media to determine whether another station is transmitting. This is the carrier sense part of CSMA CD. No network activity is detected, so Computer 1 sends the frame and is received by Server 1. When Server 1 receives the frame, it creates a reply. However, Computer 3 also has data to send to Server 1. Computer 3 and Server 1 both listen to the media and detect no activity. So both computers send the frame. The rules of CSMA CD say that only one computer at a time can send data when using a hub. Computer 3 and Server 1 continue to listen to the media as they transmit their frames. If they detect network activity before they finish sending their frames, a collision has occurred. The collision is detected by all computers in the collision domain, causing all computers to pause for a random amount of time before attempting to send any more frames. In this case, Server 1 tries first to resend its frame. Since no activity is detected, the frame is sent successfully. Computer 3 is now able to send its frame. Remember that collisions rarely occur in networks that use switches, and not at all if all computers operate in full duplex mode. So while you may not need to be concerned about collisions in most networks, the obvious performance degradation that comes with collisions helps explain why switches were developed to replace hubs.